What up, peeps and peepettes? Morktron back today with more Destiny 2, and today is October 9th, 2018, which means it's a Tuesday and a reset day. And we have one more week until the Festival of the Lost hits us in the tower. Can't wait to see what that will bring. Rumor has it, Thunderlord, but we shall see. But I'm really, really excited to get Heavy Machine Guns back in Black Armory either way. And that's just a couple months away as well. But, we'll see what we have this week. Four things to do in Destiny 2. Let's first check out what Tess Everest, as uh, she always has something that I want to spend my bright dust on, or at least I hope. Uh, this week in the Prismatic Matrix, I've got everything, but we have the Guardian Angel for the Chaperone. If you don't have that yet, you can grab that. Makes the Chaperone look new and updated, I guess. Still looks all Tex Mechanica e, which is good because I like I love Tex Mechanica weapons and I want more of them to return. And we have Death to Kells. If you don't have that, you can pick that one up. Want to ride around in a Kell? Or I'm sorry, a um, fallen. Yep, forget the name of it. Had a brain fart. We have the Dragonfly Regalia vest for the Hunter. We have the Dragonfly Regalia Helm for the Titan, Dragonfly Regalia Bond for the Warlock, and we have Random Ghost Shell, Atlantis Shell. Looks like you sat on your ghost. Astera Blade Ship, pretty common. It's a war, it's a, sorry, not a Warframe, it is a Forsaken Ship, but it is a vanilla Destiny to design, just with a new paint job. Here I stand. Pretty common looking Sparrow, actually. Like one of the original Sparrow designs from Destiny 1. Except this one looks like comes in like all one shader with minor paint designs on it. So if you want like a solid black Sparrow, there you go. You have Jade Rabbit Projection for your Ghost, which I cannot preview. But if you want a little bunny rabbit face to pop up of your Ghost every time you pull your Ghost out, there you have it. And then Awkward Greeting, one of my favorite blue emotes in the game right now. If you don't have that yet, you can pick that one up. But let's see what you can buy in just for Bright Dust. We have Sad Trombone, which I'm definitely going to be picking up right now. I do not have it yet. Bam. And we have Odd Dance, something I never got from Vanilla Destiny 2. I was very unlucky back then with emotes and stuff like that, so definitely will be picking that one up yeah. as well. As far as other stuff of note this week, we have the Aim to Misbehave Malfeasance Ornament. If you want your Malfeasance to appear taken. Um, it in the screen right here does it no justice. Um, it looks kind of dumb when you're inspecting the ornament, but it's full of, like, taken shenanigans. I'll show you here in a bit. Viced Silver Weapon Ornament for the, uh, what's this thing called? The Colony. That's what that's called. Brain fart again. We have the AI Com... Rasputin Reboot Transmat Effect. If you, if you want it to appear, that, tra uh, that the Transmat Effect is uh, Rasputinified. And we have the Gold Beam Effect, if you just want... Oh, a Gold Beam Effect. There you go. Uh, Precursor Vex Chrome for a shader. Actually, looks pretty decent on my Titan. Pretty decent. And then we have Noble Constant Red, if white and red is your thing. And then for other stuff we have this week, we have the Mappa Mundurum, Mundurum Sparrow. New to Forsaken, but not a new design. That design came to us in Curse of Osiris. And we have the Skedaddle. is a vanilla sparrow with a vanilla Destiny 2 sparrow design. We have the Where Stars Collide, a little, like, escape pod-looking type ship. Very small. The Galactic Hum, a Curse of Osiris ship. And I believe a Curse of Osiris design. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have the Peerless Precision Shell. Kind of a unique-looking ghost shell, however, it does just have the Speed Demon perk on it. There's a lot of sparrows out there that have a Speed Demon perk that makes your sparrows instant summon. I think they waste a lot of good ghost designs on those, but oh well. We have a Lambda Shell. Got an interesting paint scheme on it. 
And we have the Dragonfly Regalia legs for whatever class you feel like logging onto. And it has Dynamo and Primary Ammo Finder, Arrow Scavenger, and Rifle Dexterity. That's your into. Come and that's Everest. Eververse, Tess Everest, that sort of thing. Now, this week for the Crucible, the Crucible playlist of the week is Mayhem. I'm sorry, Supremacy. I'm hoping for Mayhem. I know I probably got a lot of you excited there when I said it. Sorry, it's Supremacy. I was hoping for Mayhem too. Hopefully next week uh, we'll get Mayhem, but we shall see. And this week for the Nightfalls, there's two Nightfalls that I'm going to be grinding my face off with. We have the Warden of Nothing, the Corrupted, and the Pyramidian. Now I have none of the weapons from any of these. The Pyramidian gives you a kinetic sniper rifle um, that I'm really not super excited about. Not really a fan of kinetic sniper rifles. I don't know why. I'd rather prefer them in my energy slot. And we have the Corrupted, which will give you a pulse rifle, and the Warden of Nothing, which we had week one of Forsaken, which will net you a, a hand cannon that has a two-bullet burst to it. It's a new archetype of pulse... Or, I'm sorry, of hand cannon. That uh, I don't think any other hand cannons in the game right now have that archetype. So it's a unique weapon, and I'll definitely be farming for that one. We're going to go check out Drifter to see what his weekly powerful reward bounty is. And then we'll be heading to the Dreaming City to see what, if anything, is new there, and to see where Petra is located this week. Alright. Drifter main. What do we got here? Knuckles? Weekly bounty is earn points by casting supers, defeating enemies of supers, and creating orbs of light. Neat. Don't so break out your masterwork weapons and uh, go to town, basically, to get that one done. But let's head to the Dreaming City and see what's new there. Okay, so here we are at the Dreaming City. You can see it is definitely week two of the curse. Little Taken orbs are starting to just float in the air, and Petra can be found in the Delvian Mists, right by where you spawn in. Maybe everything... And, of course, we have week two the of the mission. A field of flowers. We have the Oracle Engine Not mission, roots, daily bounties, rocks, Ascendant Challenge, and activity completions. I'm going to be making a video later today about where the Ascendant Challenge is and how to complete it, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be making a video of the Spider Bounties, if you want the powerful rewards from there, and the chance at different roles on uh, Tangled Shore weaponry and stuff like that. Check out that video as well. But that is it for this week's reset video. If this video kept you informed and kept you up to date on the happenings of... Destiny 2. A positive rating is greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my daily Destiny 2 content, you can hit that subscribe button for me. But do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time.